Hey, welcome back. Yeah, it was so obvious what I was supposed to do. It's just so dark in here, I can't see. There was a thing there that I never did, and so you just have to go this way. Stupid. Um, so I forgot also this week, on Tuesday I did the, well, we didn't do a Bible study. We did a game night. Um, oh, that's nice. There's a lot of stuff like that in this game where, like, if you know where the shortcut is, you can just go that way. I could have just went this way the whole time, but there's no way to know that the shortcut is there. But I, I played this game already, so I should have known it was there, but I didn't. I forgot. Um, I'm playing the game in the way you're supposed to. Uh, so we did a board, we played a game called Super Fight, which I feel is interesting because um, I had mentioned, I remember actually mentioning that game on this channel a long time ago because I used to watch, a very long time ago, I used to watch a channel called SourceFed and they, I liked watching them play, they would play board games, that was like a segment that I liked um, and one game they would play is a game called Super Fight which is you get um, what is it? I don't remember do I have to pray? you can pray in this game I don't want religion in my game, but you can pray. Oh, okay. Um, source fed. And I remember thinking like, oh, I would hate that game so much because it's so open-ended. So what you do is you get a superhero card and you get like an attribute card and you have to convince everybody at the table that your guy would win in a fight. So, for example, who did I get? I won with somebody. Oh, I won with Canada, which was... <laughs> um, I was Canada, and we had, to I had, we had to decide, like, what does that even mean? So I'm like everybody in Canada, and I have all of Canada's resources. I'm just like Canada. Um... And so I was fighting, like, a demon who could teleport. Um, and you have to convince everybody, like, oh, Canada could beat a demon, sure. <laughs> and it's hard because it's all talking, open-ended, like, convincing people everything that I'm bad at. <laughs> um, and I remember watching them play that game. And it's a good game for comedy because like if you're funny you can make jokes um i am still not focusing on that part of it oh yeah i forgot he can kill his friends glug 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 there's friendly fire in this game okay after i kill this guy it's all good Bam, 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 bam. Oh, one more. Got dive. Tuck and roll, tuck and roll. Okay, so we played Super Fight for two hours, and it was okay. I mean, the note that I wrote down was that I didn't feel. I don't. I still don't feel like I'm being the person that I want to be. Um, another page. I need to, yeah, I need to upgrade my stuff. You can upgrade your health. Um, so let's do that now. I think I have enough money. So you go here, and then you do this, and then you do, oh yeah, I got so much money. 
So now I upgrade. I, I like this RPG element of like upgrading your attack skill. Because that is not a Zelda thing. Breath of the Wild a little bit, but not really. I like this mechanic. It's fun. Um... I'm 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 closer though because like I did talk a little bit and I made a couple like kind of jokey things like one of my one of my attributes was like I was like I was daredevil and I had a puppy cannon so everybody was like oh we can kill the guy with the puppy cannon and I was like well, if you kill me like you you destroy the puppy cannon. <laughs> you don't get the puppy cannon. Do you really want to do that? <laughs> um, do you want to deprive the world of the puppy cannon? Like I'm I'm able to like that's not exactly what I want to say, <laughs> but I'm like closer. Um, that I'm able to say anything is a closer to who being who I want to be um, and whenever I say stuff like that I hear my therapist's voice in my head being like you're fine the way you are and I'm like shut up I want to be better let me be better oh I like that I need that secret under the waterfall burr, 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 burr. Um, I'm gonna go back and heal, I think. Oh, I have the map for this place. This is cool. Um, so see, I'm on the map. I'm right there, at the bottom. Under the well, Slorm. What's the tip? Hold up your shield for the block stuff. <laughs> is there a secret in, no, okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I, if I brought up, I'm just just thinking about that girl at the improv thing. <laughs> like, if I bring that up to the therapist, she's gonna say like, you have to ask her to do something, right? That is like, I mean, I know that's the thing, like, <laughs> the the apps are easy because like you just swipe on, you just swipe, right? But what, to ask somebody out in person is something that I never thought I would be able to do and I still don't. <laughs> um, it's so embarrassing. Like, and there's people there at the improv and like, you, you what do you do? I feel like I should because like just I don't know because like because I've been so I've been complaining about like oh I can't meet anybody um, and this is how you meet people right you like you do stuff but I don't know and, and another part of it is like it's really far away so like she probably lives there so that was the one thing that I was like, well, if she lived closer, but I don't know. <laughs> it's only like an hour and 20 minutes. So if she lived like 15 minutes west, then she would only be like an hour away from me, which is not crazy. If she lived 15 minutes the other way, then that would be tough. She'd be like two hours, maybe. Um... But that was part of it that I didn't mention is like, I, uh, I I am noticing now that like, that I am closer to the moon, <laughs> that like I notice, I'm starting to notice things that I do like about potential partners, which I never noticed before because I'm like, you're not going to have a girlfriend, so why even think about it? Um, when we were doing the improv scenes... And even, like, when we weren't doing the improv scenes, she was very expressive. 
and and I liked I think I kind of am drawn to that kind of a person who is like able to show emotions <laughs> because I struggle with that and I, um And she did a good job in all the scenes. I think she's been doing it a lot, a lot longer than me. <laughs> um, because right when when um, the teacher was like, all right, you two guys start the scene, she would be like combing her hair or something. Or she would be like, when one scene she was like knitting and she was doing good with like the scene work where she was like, yeah, she was, knit she was knitting. And it like looked like she was knitting. <laughs> I liked that. Um, I don't know if I should say this, but like there were things that I didn't like, <laughs> like she was late. But I mean, I whatever. Um, she was like ten minutes late, and she didn't apologize when she came in. Like if I was ten minutes late, I'd be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was I was in a car crash and my dad died and <laughs> but she was just like hey what's up I'm here um, which is fine I don't care but I mean that kind of a personality maybe could weigh on me after a while I'll be like why don't you care that you're late <laughs> Seven o'clock means seven o'clock. But I, I don't know. I, she's paying for it, so if she wants to be late, she could be late. Who cares? And she probably had like work or something. Um, and she doesn't have social anxiety, so she doesn't feel like she has to explain herself. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I was at work and I was late because like we we had to leave a little bit later. Because that's what I would have done. Even when, um, when I, when I, uh, when I first go into the place, I always have to go to the bathroom because I've been driving for like an hour and a half. And I'm like kind of self-conscious about that because I'm like, every time I go there, the first thing I do is I go to the bathroom and like, so I kind of say hi, but then I go right to the bathroom. So it's like awkward. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Like it's a long drive. <laughs> I got to go to the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. I need more stamina. Who? I have you now. This this game. I mean, I, I, it's incredible to see. As someone who never really played the Dark Souls games, like how much of an influence they have on every genre of game now. Like even this game, you could see so much of Dark Souls. Um, one of the thing is when you die, you leave an echo, and you can call and you drop money, and so you have to find your echo and pick it up. That's a super common thing. Um, and I know maybe Dark Souls didn't invent that, but. Um, That's a very common mechanic now to penalize death, but also not really because it's like, oh, I just gotta, I just gotta go back there. It doesn't. It, it feels like a penalty, but it doesn't feel too terrible because, like, okay, if I just go back there, I can get all my stuff back. But then if you die, you lose it. So there is some stress there. But it's also like, well, it's your fault because you shouldn't have died there. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta end. Can I upgrade? Ooh, yeah. So this one makes your potion stronger, I think. Okay, two more videos. Um, I think two more videos today. What do you think? That's what I think. Because I won't be here next week. And I'm going to miss the improv next Thursday. Oh, I am actually sad about that because it's, I'm going to be missing. Um, I don't know. 
I've been getting better and it's been helping me and I've been liking it like it's the freaking trifecta of what I've been looking for and I, I need to keep doing it um, I need to do it every day honestly once a week is not enough two hours a week um, if I could do it every day I probably wouldn't even do this because I think it would help me more than this um, maybe I would still do a vlog so I could be like a journal like journaling myself I, I like that aspect of it like I can look back and see what I thought about um, like Trump three years ago or something <laughs> um, that's interesting and like, oh, look, that's Anthony when he was 26, and that's when he was 27. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.